Destination Earth, Part 5, The Bowling Ball of Death. The Greys had kidnapped Professor Anderton and taken him to the Tay Cran Noth, a gigantic mothership. Armed to the teeth, it was the heart of the Grey forces. In a reckless attempt to rescue the Professor, Spin and Jenna had stowed away on a cargo ship, heading straight for the Steel Behemoth. Sounds like we've arrived. The loading ramp's opening. Quick, hide behind those crates. They're starting to unload the cargo. We're sitting ducks. We have to crawl into the sacks of Rinkini that burst open. It's our only chance. Ew, that's so disgusting. Better than getting caught. Hidden away in the sacks of white goo, Spin and Jenna were loaded onto a trolley by the Grey soldiers. They hardly dared to breathe as the Grey pushed them into an adjacent room. The trolley stopped moving and the Grey soldiers left. Jenna, you can come out now, they're gone. Where are we? It looks like a central storage facility. It's all automated. Look, there. That freight elevator is taking cargo to the upper levels. If we find out what deck my father is on, can we hitch a ride? Turn on your translator. And there's a tag on each of these containers. I'm going to scan one of them with the translator. Content. Technium containers. Deck four. Science and research. Science and research? Do you think that's where they're keeping him? It's as good a place to start as any. Hop on. Spin and Jenna jumped onto the narrow platform. The elevator disappeared up a long shaft, taking them deep into the bowels of the ship. After a swift ride, it emerged in a small storage room on the science and research deck. All right, time to jump off. I'll peek through the door, see if the coast is clear. We're in luck. There's no one around. Come on, quietly. Let's see what's down this corridor. Dad? Jenna, wait! Don't do anything stupid! That was my dad, in here! Jenna! That's him, that's my dad! Stay down, I'll take a peek. And they've strapped him into some sort of machine in the adjacent room. His head is inside a tube, like a medical brain scanner. And there's a dead body in a similar machine right beside him. We've got to do something, they're torturing him. There's only two of them, looks like great scientists. Right, I've got an idea. I'll tackle the one on the right, and you're going to push that trolley into the other one. Okay. Wait, wait for my signal. Ah! Now! Ah! Alright, they're out cold. Ah! Ah! Dad's in pain. How do you turn this machine off? Which button do I press? <laughs> there we go. When in doubt, just yank out a bunch of cables. Dad? Dad, are you okay? Well... Where, where am I? The Greys kidnapped you. You're on their mothership. Spin and I are here to rescue you. Oh, so much pain. They, they wanted to know the location of Earth. We have to get out of here fast before... What the...? The guy in the other machine, he's got your blaster. I had no choice. Put the blaster down, old man. I want you to know this. They made me do it. They made me tell them. I had no choice, and I have no choice now. Put it down! Oh, blew his own brains out. There's a name on his lab coat. Professor Lambert Noyce. <sighs> Come on, we have to get Dad out of here. I, I, I didn't tell them. I didn't tell them anything. It's okay, Dad. All right, the coast is clear. No, wait, someone's coming. Quick, back into the room. It's a group of them. At 
at least 20. Those guys in the middle look important. Damn. They have two greys behind to guard the storage room door. We have no choice but to follow the group. Quiet now. In here. Where are we? Some kind of observation deck. Careful, the greys are on the main floor below us. The view is amazing. Look at that blue-green planet. That guy's about to speak. I'll turn on the translator. At this moment, two of my associates, skilled in the art of extracting information, are interrogating the human scientists we have captured. Soon, the location of the human homeworld will be known to us. In the meantime, I will demonstrate the device we have constructed. Commence test run. They've turned on giant view screens showing images from the planet's surface. Ah, interesting biosphere. Look at those lush jungles and blue oceans and, and those gigantic lizard creatures. There, the hatch in the hull is open. What is that glowing thing? Hmm, it looks like a bowling ball. Those swirls of green light inside it are mesmerizing. No, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. They shot the bowling ball at the planet. Uh, and now it's entering the atmosphere. Oh, look at that corona of fire. Fascinating. There, it's appearing on that view screen. It's heading right for that stretch of jungle. It hit the ground, but but nothing happened. It's just lying there. Hmm. Ah, looks like a dud. No, wait. It, 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 it's changing. See? The pulsating light is increasing in frequency. And it's, it's changing shape. Look at those green tendrils seeping into the ground. Now it's changing color. It, it's turning brown. The glow is dying. Looks like it's melting. It's turning into an oily sludge. Great galaxy! What just happened? It's an expanding wave of death. Look, those green jungles are wilting before our very eyes. The lizard creatures, they're, they're dying off. They just collapse when they come in contact with the spreading black goo. Oh, it eats the skin right off their bones. Look how fast it's spreading. The shockwave is turning the entire planet brown. It has reached the oceans. Now it's spreading even quicker, like, like ink in a fish tank. It's done. That sludge bomb killed off a whole planet in under five minutes. There's nothing left alive. Come on, we've seen enough. Let's get out of here. Up there. They've spotted us. Quick, move, now! As our heroes scrambled to leave the observation deck, an angry horde of greys took up pursuit. Was there any hope of escaping the alien mothership now? Tune in next time for part six of Destination Earth. Destination Earth is written and directed by Patrick McGinley. It stars Jerry Redford, Jet Tattersall, Jemima Knight, and Peter McCallum, and is narrated by Francis Edwards. Music by Silke Matzpol. It was recorded at Sydney Sound Brewery by recording engineer John Resk. If you enjoy Destination Earth, please tell your friends about it, and like and subscribe in your podcast app of choice. Reviews and comments are very much appreciated. On Twitter, we are at Desti Earth Audio. 
We are Destination underscore Earth underscore Audio on Instagram, and you can find us on the web at DestinationEarthAudio.com. Thanks for listening.